James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 3rd, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We have a disturbance in our electromagnetic field here on our Italian Schumann resonance model. As you can see down here, it doesn't appear very strong. It looks like it peaks at about 200 hertz. Now, with that said, this is not current. I will show you something that is current in just a second. This has actually gotten worse over the last couple of hours. You can see that the geophone was being lightly hit, and it's been hit much harder over the last four and now almost six hours. But we will get a better timing in just a few seconds. All right here we have our Schumann residence. We can see that it's really only peaking out at about 25 hertz. And I want to add that this is nowhere near real time. Again, we will see the real time Schumann residence on our next slide. But I wanted you to see that it occurred or started just after 1400 UTC time, spiking up to about 25 hertz. And from there, well, it's going crazy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, over to our six-day comparison here. We can see, first off, that we haven't had any activity over the previous 48 hours. But over the last three hours, we've had considerable activity. You can see the area that we were able to see on the Schumann Residence model here. And after that subsided, we shot directly off the charts, these charts ending at 50 hertz. I want to keep reminding everyone that the Schumann residence was never registered over 37 hertz until 2017, and that heavy spiking started in 2019 to present. Now, what is different between prior to 2017 and prior to 2019 and now i may have an idea or two but i want everyone to chime in and let me know what you think also i'd love to know if you were able to sense the schumann resident spikes and if so how they affected you would you say your effects were more physical or mental Please let me know in the comments below. As you can see, they haven't shown this on the model, but this is going off the charts. These charts end at 50 hertz. Again, because when all these modeling stations were made, 37 hertz was the max that they had seen. Now, we're taking a look here at our actual amplitudes and our different modeling equipment. This is also not real time. This is also lagging by about at least an hour, maybe more. It doesn't show the very heavy spiking that's happened over the last hour. What we do see is our geophones reacting, our ULF and our ELF reacting, i.e. spiking. And we also see our second SR frequency dipping which is its reaction to the Schumann resonance spiking. To start with, they say CERN is not operational currently. No beam before 1930. And that's coming up very, very soon. So this will soon be operational. 1930 UTC time. What is kind of wild is these comments were made four minutes and eight seconds ago from the time I'm making this video. Kind of strange indeed. Now I want to check another probable cause that many people have hinted towards space weather. Well these are KP indexes and they outline excessive solar winds and solar plasma hitting the planet and we see that our KP indexes are very inactive meaning we have no solar winds or plasma or no solar activity hitting our planet earth 
currently, at least per these KP indexes. Now this is where it gets very interesting. We can see we have no plasma hitting our Discover satellite in space weather territory. That would be over 10 centimeters cubed. We also see that solar winds are relatively calm at about 450 to 400 kilometers per second, varying up and down. Now, this is one of the things I think is causing these enormous spikes in the Schumann residence. We've always had lightning, which we will take a look at because there is lightning around this modeling station. We've always had HARP. It's been operational for 30 plus years. It's now been sold to the University of Alaska. But what we haven't had is our weakened magnetic field that we can see right here. Today, Earth's magnetic field has been very weak indeed. Uh, and we can use our 5GSM BT data to see that. Now, usually it's much stronger and does have holes in it that are weak. But this time it's very weak and has spikes in it that are stronger. Now, I wanted to go over that unique indicator and kind of teach everyone what's going on. We watch the phi angle at ACE. We can see this here, and that just gives you a link to where we were. The phi angle equals interplanetary magnetic field polar angle. So our angle has moved to the south here. Phi is the angle of the interplanetary magnetic field that is being carried out by the solar wind. When we see phi angle go southward into the negative, this shows the increase of transport of solar winds and mass into Earth's magnetosphere. When it goes into the positive, it shows a decrease in transport of solar winds and mass into Earth's magnetosphere. So we're in the negative and we're seeing an increase in magnetosphere activity. And this is what's causing it. The magnetic field has moved to the south. And that's what I've been trying to teach everyone. All right, jumping over to the area where our model is located here. As you can see in Italy, this is northern Italy or really northwest Italy. And there are thunderstorms near the area. But there have always been thunderstorms. What we're dealing with here that's causing these spikes, and I think I have nailed it, is the weakening and shifting of our magnetic field, which may in fact amplify this activity and definitely amplifies space weather, even though there's no indication we're in any type of solar event or solar storm. So I think after all these years, we have our answer here. These events occur where the Schumann resonance spikes off the charts when our electromagnetic field moves to the south and actually allows more havoc in our magnetosphere. I believe that the pole shift or electromagnetic pole shift, not physical pole shift, is actually causing the weakening of our electromagnetic field thus these spikes are showing up since 2019. with this said i'm fairly sure that i've solved what's really going on here it's our electromagnetic field that has weakened and turned south it has nothing to do with lightning that's been around well as long as we have it has nothing to do with cern i believe it has everything to do with our electromagnetic field and I wanted to cover all this because another YouTuber got on my channel and told me it was lightning. I won't say who it was, but his last name is Burns. And he was wrong, so I thought I would outline it for him. So maybe he could quit doing injustices to his few viewers. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember anything is possible in bizarro world by the way 
This is hundreds of miles.